A Brisbane-based soldier has been wounded in Afghanistan. The Defence Force says he was hurt when an improvised device exploded near an army vehicle in Uruzgan province. An Afghan soldier was also injured. Both are receiving medical treatment and are in a stable condition. There's another development in the Queensland health pay debacle, with health staff now having to hand back any extra pay. The government moratorium has ended and overpayments from the payroll controversy have reached $91 million and are still climbing. Many health staff have been underpaid since the payroll system went haywire two years ago. But almost 62,000 employees have been overpaid. Queensland Health is owed $91 million in overpayments, growing by about $1.7 million per fortnight. The Labor government last year put a freeze on recovering the overpayments, but the LNP has decided to resume the recovery process. Our efforts will not be rushed. The department will begin with the largest amounts and work down. Debts of $200 or less won't be pursued. There is frustration and confusion about these overpayments and staff deserve our thanks and gratitude for their continued patience. So our members will be coming forward and they want to be assured, of course, as they will need to be, that they haven't had any underpayments before they agree to um, repay any overpayments. Unions will keep a close eye on the overpayment recovery process. They're also paying close attention to controversial changes to industrial relations laws, which have been examined by a parliamentary committee. The changes would require the Industrial Commission to consider the state's financial position when deciding wage claims. The local government association and the Chamber of Commerce and Industry approve. The QIRC has, in our view, had very little regard for the capacity of the state government to pay in determining wage outcomes. The unions disagree. What I'm saying is it tips the balance too far in favour of the government who is the employer. Another amendment would allow the Minister to terminate industrial action that threatens the economy or community safety. Really a bastardisation of the process which we all call the independent umpire. The unions say they got a good hearing and they hope the government will reconsider the amendments. If those laws are misused then public servants will have their say in three years time. They'll be debated in the next sitting of Parliament. Chris O'Brien, ABC News.